All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. As, as you guys already know, we're going to be looking at the map, uh, update on the map, see where we're at. Um, also, we're going to talk about Avadi. It did a speech in um, Amman, Jordan. We'll take a look at that. And also what you guys had to say in the comment section underneath the uh, report video I did this morning for Currency 365. Okay, so here's the map for today. Uh, 7 35 p.m. Baghdad time which is about uh, three hours ago somewhere around there um, okay so let's see here okay so this actually went backwards on this part because this was green yesterday now it's orange so something must have happened here that they had to re go back in here and turn it orange again or maybe they forgot that, that it's now green I don't get that. I don't know how you turn something green and then the next day you turn it back orange again. That doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, as you guys can see, this is orange again. Um, and there's green up here. There's more green up here now. Uh, and then there's orange up here. Uh, and as you guys already know, they told us that only 7% of ISIS uh, um, uh, territories remain in, in Western Mosul. So... 7% is is very small, right? So 7% is like just like one, like this area of the map, you know what I mean? Like this one little area of the map. And it probably is just right up in here. But uh, but this is this map is delayed two and a half weeks. So, you know, if you're looking at the real map, they're up here. You know, if the, the real time map is up in this area, you know, anywhere up here is the real time map. In my opinion, it could be different. I think somebody posted a real-time map. Um, so it's got to be up in this area right up here. Uh, and this is definitely up here as well. So it could be up in this area. Maybe they that uh, ISIS holds 7% still in the region, um, which is not a lot at all. And there's no reason why, um, you know, we, we haven't moved forward into a, a free market economy. Uh, if ISIS only owns 7% left in Western Mosul, and they own nothing in the rest of the Iraq. Iraq the rest of Iraq is liberated from ISIS. And then ISIS owns 7% left in Western Mosul. So that's there and they've been annihilated. So I don't know why we haven't now moved into a new market, a free market economy. And uh, maybe after uh, body comes back from Jordan, he'll, they will begin the process of that. Okay, so... Let's keep it moving because the map's not the map didn't the map really didn't move today at all and then it went backwards on this one so it is what it is um okay so let's move on um let's see here reports of 50 plus Dash casualties as Iraq Air uh, Force flattens three Dash command centers in the desert southwest of Telahar okay now remember I showed you guys all those missiles going to Telahar so uh, there's nothing in Telahar. You know, I, they're, 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 you know, I, this is this is what's unbelievable. Like, how can you send all those missiles, and and you're still, you know, sending missiles? People are dying. Like 50 dash couches. I don't even think there's 50 dash members left in in Mosul. You know what I mean? Like 50 dash? No, there's the way. There's, I don't even think these are dash members. I think these are this. They're either making up numbers or these are just these are. Or these are um, foreign uh, terrorist groups, and not Daesh and ISIS. Because Daesh and ISIS, they, I mean, goodness, we've had reports of over 4,000 Daesh and ISIS members killed. But when we started, they told us there was, what, 30, 3,300 of them? And then it went to 1,100? And, and then we, we've already had reports over, like, 4,000 of them just in the last two weeks killed. So, then you know, it is what it is. So, I, you know, I don't know what, what who these people are. Most likely, they're foreign terrorists, and they're just calling them Daesh, okay, because they're against the government, so they just call them Daesh. That's, that's my opinion. There's not, because if you count up all the Daesh members that, and ISIS members that are killed, it's almost like 10,000 since Western Mosul started, and they, there's not even that many, there wasn't even that many in the beginning of Western Mosul, so there was only 3,300, okay, and then it quickly went to... It quickly, it was either, either 3,300 or 1,100. I can't remember. Um, I can't remember the exact number. It was either 1,100 or 3,300. I don't remember. Some of you guys probably do remember or have the article when they first started uh, the Western Mosul launch. 
They told, they gave us the number of how many ISIS members were probably in Western Mosul. It was either between 1,100 and 3,300. I can't remember. Anyways, Old Mosul District uh, did uh, uh, get some more green on this side. We got green over here, and this is going up. What they're trying to do is, of course, this is two and a half weeks old or maybe even three weeks old, but they're trying to come around here and, and make this green as well and, and basically make a, make a circle around it and then come on in, you know, from all around. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks like they're coming up here, and then they're going to make a circle around it and come on in. The pace that they're going, this is not going to be, you know, this is not going to be green for a while. You know what I mean? Like, this whole thing won't be green for a while at the pace that they're going. Even though they keep saying that, even though they're saying they're making a lot of strides and things of that nature, it says Old Musto District have multiple fronts now. Uh, West Front open today and, and expected some big surprises in the coming days. They've been saying this for how long, and the map just doesn't move. So it is what it is. Um. Okay, so let's talk about a body. A body uh, uh, was talking at, in Jordan, Iraq's liberation and defeated. Okay. Um, I did read a little bit of this. He was, he, you know, he's, he's basically talking about that he needs the Arab countries to understand what Iraq has gone through and all the losses and the things that they want gone through, all of the fighting and bickering uh, within country and that... They've been making a lot of efforts to uh, uh, unify the country and deal with the losses of the of, of you know from Daesh and ISIS to the civilians and things of that nature and come off of terrorism and he also talked about that uh, the uh, Middle East needs to work together to remove the terrorism and uh, yeah and you know and they they all need to take care of their own countries basically take care of their own countries. Make sure corruption is removed from their own countries and then work together, you know, but you got to make sure your, your country is stable. Make sure your country is, uh, you know, it, it, it's good to go. And uh, and then you can help the rest of the Middle East out that you need to. But if your country isn't isn't stable, your country is out of whack. If your country is in war and stuff, then you, you can't help anybody, you know, good to the Middle East. So he basically was saying, you know, we got to. Iraq has been through it. Iraq has been through a lot, and uh, it's taken a lot to unify, and taken a lot to have to get through the victories against Daesh and ISIS, and a lot of people have died. He also uh, shouted out to the PMUs, the uh, Iraqi forces, the Peshmerga forces, and all the federal police and, Ira and Iraqi forces, and everybody else in the local level that has helped to eliminate Daesh from their borders and, and outside of their borders as well. So. He also said that Iraq is entering into a new phase after the elimination of Daesh and expulsion outside our borders. Okay, and he wants all Arab countries to be a part of this. Uh, it's not just going to be Iraq alone. It's going to be the whole Arab countries and the international world that is going to take Iraq to the next level. Okay, so uh, that's basically what he's talked about. He said he looks forward to a new era of peace, stability, and coexistence, security and economic prosperity for all our countries and peoples and to close cooperation in all fields. Okay, so that's basically what he said. Um, he, also talk, he also talked about hate speech. Uh, hate speech, and I'm not sure if he mentioned anything about the media and how the media has been used to, to put out uh, fake news and things of that nature. But anyways, um, yeah, so he talked about sectarianism as well. That's been a big deal. The Shiites, the Kurds, and the Sunnis. And, uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, so he did give a speech. Um, you know, he didn't He didn't do what I wanted him to do, but it, it is what it is. He did it in his own way, okay. He did it in this. He said that, you know, they're still going on. They're still battling. But, you know, victory is near and... And that you know they're going to a, they're going to into a new Iraq, okay? And they want the Arab world and the and all the rest of the world to, but especially the Arab world because they're right next to each other to you know to to unite and uh, remove the terrorism and and the and all the wars and all the conflicts and all the battles that's going on and just bring peace into the Middle East, okay? So 
that's basically what he said in a nutshell. I didn't read all of it. But I read enough. I read the bottom and the top and, the, and a little bit of the middle. And that's basically what he was saying. Um, and then, I, of course, I read some of the other articles earlier today. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. It wasn't what I wanted. And I don't see any. Well, he talks about unity. So I, that is the national reconciliation. So, But he doesn't bring up the word national reconciliation or national settlement at all. And not that I know. Not that I see. I didn't see anything like that. So maybe he did and I missed it. But I don't see anything here in a sense. National reconciliation or national settlement. National sovereignty, you know, of Iraq and Arab countries. But that's not that. It's, but, uh, but I think once he says unification, that's the national reconciliation. So it is what it is. He uses his own terms. He uses his own words. That's fine. Okay, so let me wrap this up here. This will be a short, a short video um, because the map didn't change. It actually got a little bit worse because some of the spots are now orange than 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 yesterday. Um, and as you guys would see here, the Iraq Operations Command uh, says ISIS presents only seven percent of Western Mosul, which is awesome. Uh, we hope that we hope that zero percent in the next two weeks, right? That would be awesome. Um, Let's see here. Let me see if anybody posted anything. Dun, 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 dun. Eric says, in my opinion, the first paragraph, a body mentions Dosh victory and liberation. Have to read the entire paragraph the intro. Yeah, he did. But, I, but like I said, I, 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 you know, I said, I said that, uh, you know, he didn't do it the way I wanted him to do it. And I didn't, I don't think he did it in a, in a blunt way. You know what I mean? To, to like, I don't know. He didn't do it the way I wanted him to do it. Like I wanted him to come out and say, we have victory. You know what I mean? We have a national reconciliation. Iraq is going back to the international stage and we're in a free economy. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted him to say. He didn't really say that. <laughs> he went, he, he said it, but it, it was like really, in, in, you know, in a, in a slick way or, or, you know, behind the back way. I, I wanted him to be bold, but he, he just didn't, he just didn't do that. Um, John says, blessings, brother. Uh, Muhammad has here that AM general wins $28 million con dollar contract in Iraq. Okay, cool. Is that security? I wonder if that's a security company or not. I'm not reading the article though. Hi, <laughs> uh, Eric has here, Hakeem with the tribes coming together. Having that festival in Iraq while a body speaks uh, might be national reconciliation. Yeah, they've already launched the national reconciliation, Eric. You know that. They've already launched it in all the provinces except for Mosul. Uh, Jabari was going around launching the national reconciliation uh, in all provinces. Um, Patrick says, John, you're the man. I love your intel. Can't wait for Eyes Open Media and, and Report Extra. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, Lorraine here. Thanks for your time. I enjoy all your cha your channels. <laughs> okay, Hadia has here. King of Saudi servants. Oh my God, <laughs> servants. These people. These people in the Middle East call he call the citizens uh, peasants, and then he call and then they call the people that work in the government. The King of Saudi is calling the people who work for him the government servants. Oh, give me a break. That's crazy. Uh, the King of Saudi's servants <laughs> are ready to strengthen uh, relationships with Iraq at all levels. That's just that's to me. That's just I know. I know that they used to do that in the biblical days and back in the days when the king had you know his people were called servants and and, and majesties and the king and the queen and the prince and things of that nature and then the people that were called peasants and. Which I mean, I just think it's just I, I think it's straight straight disrespectful. <laughs> I ain't even gonna be, I ain't gonna lie to you. I I, I don't know. I, that, that, maybe that's why I wasn't born in the biblical days or any of those king days. I would have went off. I I, I I can't I can't stand stuff like that. I, I would I probably would have went off. You know. So, <laughs> um. Anyways, let's keep it moving here. Um, commission. Uh. uh Full Baghdad looking to refer to implementation of development projects in Baghdad mechanisms, including 20 public square. Okay. And that's coming from Muhammad. 
Uh, Hadiyah says, it was also addressed to the victories achieved by the Iraqi forces on Dash gangs. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I know. I said it in the report. I know he claimed victories, but he also claimed that they're still ongoing. And, you know, and he just didn't put his foot down like I wanted him to. Maybe, and that's, uh, maybe that's just not him. That's fine. Um... Patrick said, "We don't need to see. The, I guess we don't need to see the map now because there are only seven percent of of Musul's left." And true, that is kind of true. We really don't need to watch the map anymore, um, especially the. But you know, I'm still gonna bring it. You know, I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> I want to see that map turn green because it was the map that really broke us uh, to to keep us going. Uh, in in uh for Eastern Musul, remember when I brought that map when Iraqi Day and me brought that map to the world? No one knew about that map until I until I I actually introduced you guys to Iraqi Day and then the map and then he brought the map and then I and then it was a Nineveh Command Center map and I said you guys can actually uh you know wait for them to bring it out or you can just wait for Iraqi Day and then the whole internet just went crazy with the map and and then bringing other maps. But no one was bringing maps until I until I, I introduced you guys to Iraqi Day and and he, he he brought the map and then I shared it and then the whole community went crazy uh, over the map. Is this map real? Is this map? You know what I mean? And then they realized a body was going by that map, and then they realized it when we were doing Western Musul and they and they said, "Oh, let's delay the map for about two to three weeks because they're watching the map." Okay, so it was that map. It, it, it was this map uh, that, that helped us get through Eastern Musul and see how close we were because we had no clue until we brought the map. And then we were able to see where the forces were going in, you know, each way. And so that was awesome. So, so we got to, we still got to give it up to, even though I am, you know, I've been kind of mean to Nineveh Command Center, we still owed them a lot because it was that map that helped us to get through Eastern Musul uh, liberation. Because a lot of us, we had no clue when that was going to go to it. Uh, when was that going to complete until we saw that map? And then we really knew that we, we were right there. And because we were right there, we didn't give up. OK, and it, it put a new charge in us and a new, you know, a new excitement in us in our investment. So we got to give it up to them regardless, uh, regardless of they pushing the map to back to protect the soldiers or whatever the case may be. That's fine. They can do whatever they want. Um, somebody had the real map. Let me get out of this because I'm running. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, Red Star came through and said, Hakeem, Iraq returned to draw Arab map. And we hope that the summit address problems. Uh, read, okay, it says, uh, so that we can move forward and we are reassured on the safety of money. Okay, cool. That's a big statement from uh, Hakeem there. Uh, I did see that earlier too, but I didn't, I didn't bring it. <laughs> but Restar brought it, so that's fine. Um, and uh, let's go over here because somebody has a video of the map. Of, okay, so let's watch this real quick. I'm gonna play this for you guys. Uh, let's see what this is. اليوم هو الثامن والثلاثون من عمليات قادمون يا نينوى في صفحتها الثالثة في مرحلتها الثالثة وصفحتها الثانية الموافق. Okay, I don't need to hear that. Okay, <laughs> we don't know what he's saying. But, but anyways, um. Let me close it. Okay, so as you see here, they're almost they're about a two about two days, maybe two three days away from from hitting this eighty percent uh, V shape, right? Of course, you got to get that you got to get this area and this area completed. Um, but they're right there from being at the tip of that V. Um, let's see here, and then over here, there are lots of orange here. Okay, this area is all green. The Nineveh Command Center has orange right here, but this is all green, and this is orange up here, all up here. And then look if if he moves out the freaking way, <laughs> um, maybe he does in the video. Let's pl let, let me see. Let me actually see if he moves out the way. Uh, nope, he doesn't move. Out. How are you gonna stand in the way of a map? Like move over here. And then, of course, you see this part. Oh, look, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's a bridge right here. 
to this area that we see on the map on our on, on the Nineveh Command, but there's nothing here. So I don't know why Nineveh Command Center put something here like this is, but there's nothing here. As you can see on the Iraqi TV map, there's nothing here. Just like I told you guys, this is the actual uh, Western Mosul. Nothing, there's nothing here. This is a bridge that goes over to some somewhere else, uh, west the West Gate. Uh, you know, and there's, so they were supposed to be coming through the West Gate, and they're also supposed to be coming through right over here as well, the outer uh, western part of Western Musa. But we haven't seen anything. I don't know what happened to these troops that are right over here. I don't know. Um, but as you can see here, we're you know we're we're seventy percent on this map. We're about seventy percent, and eighty percent is getting this you know getting to this V shape right here. And if you can see over here, we're almost to that. The, the orange is almost to that last. No, this is the last bridge up here. This is the eighty percent. So we're almost to that bridge right up here. Um, and then the last bridge is right up in here. Okay, so it looks like on this map, it looks like April fifteenth. Could be the could be the time frame for this to finish this on this map if they just push their way all the way up uh, April fifteenth you know could be the time uh, and then a Nineveh command center map we're looking at God knows you know <laughs> you know I I said April twenty third but uh you know it, 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 I mean my goodness it's taking forever for that map but as you can see this is the this is the map. And it says uh, March 28, 2017. This map looks way better than the Nineveh Command Center map. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, there's nothing over here, right? So, and we, we see on the other map. And Nineveh Command Center still has a ways to get up to this point uh, up here. Um, and then they're fighting over here. So, it looks like, I mean, Nineveh Command Center map looks like it's coming. It's trying to catch up to the map that's on TV. Uh, but this part right here is just way off. It's just inaccurate, you know, and, and hasn't this part hasn't even moved for almost five weeks. So anyways, that's it. I think that's it. Uh, everything else will be on report extras. I'll, I'll show this map again on report extras as well. And that's about it. I didn't want to go over 20 minutes, but I did because you guys wanted me. You guys brought me so much stuff for. Uh, in the comment section that's cool anyways eyes open hope you guys enjoyed us see you guys for report extras I'm not sure what else I'm gonna bring I think I have two videos this will be the second video today I really want after April 1st I want three videos on this channel that's gonna be hard to do but I want three and, and I'm not talking about just me talking but you know I want to bring at least three videos on this on this channel and then I want at least three to five videos on the main channel on a daily basis um, that's why I want to bring, uh, that's why I'm trying to build a team up. You know, I got, it's, it's just me and Mike right now, me, Mike, uh, Kenneth story. Um, you know, I, I, I do post Kenneth story stuff on there. Um, I will be posting, um, Jojo, uh, Dawson's, uh, stuff on there on here as well. When I can, I do post, um, uh, uh, apostle John Eckhart stuff on here at sometimes, um, who else is on? Who else do I post? Breitling, Dinar, um, who else? And then all the other CEOs that I'm in that I'm in business with, I'm gonna start posting their live streams or their um conference calls or, or their uh Facebook live stuff as well on on um the channels. Okay, so that's it for me. So hopefully when March when April hits, I'll be I'll be posting at least three videos on here. It'll be about any everything everything. Okay, both channels will be about everything except for the main channel won't be religious stuff. Uh, Eyes Open Media will be you know religious stuff. Uh. Uh, CEOs, Bitcoin, uh, the map, things of that nature, and all types of stupid stuff, right? <laughs> you know. Uh, and then on the main channel, it'll be you know just it'll be the CEOs of the programs I'm in and stuff dealing with um you know or or some type of motivational speaking if, if, if Stephen and others want to do that. And then also it will be um everything finance and currency. Okay, that's it for me. I'm out. Bye. Eyes open.